support your Flux Automators. Ah! And today I'm excited to show you some of my tech. Now, a lot of you out there may be wondering what type of tech I use and the gadgets and gizmos that I have and that you have, and then we could conversate about it and things like that. Um, but today I'm just gonna show you some of the tech that I like to carry with me. I'm not saying I carry all these with me all the time, but if I could, I would. Now these are devices that I bought in 2024 and there's a couple from 2023 but all the stuff is relevant and i gotta say it's great now the reason why i'm doing this video is because i'm going to be putting all these devices into a backpack now which backpack is that going to be we're going to test that out to see which backpack can actually hold all the gear that i would like to travel with at all times now some people may say that's too much gear to be carrying but um if you're a geek like me you want to carry everything especially if you're away from home for a week or two you want to make sure you have all the devices that you want and need to have fun and get some work done so with that said what i'm going to do i'm going to break down each individual device tell you what it is tell you what it's good for and if you should buy it well if i've bought it i think you should buy it too and once you finish watching all these cool pieces of tech you can check out the other video which is going to show you which backpack can fit all this stuff in and um, my recommendations on it. So uh, let's get into it. As you can see, the table is spread with all types of gadgets and gears and gizmos and all bits and pieces. So I'm gonna go from left, my left to my right and tell you all the devices that I have. Now I have many more other devices that I have in and around the room, in the house, in the car, wherever. But these are the gadgets that if I have the opportunity, I will carry all of them. Um, there may be a few I might leave behind, but if I'm away for two weeks or so, I'm gonna be carrying this stuff. So first things first, let's go over here. So over here, we have the Avata 2 and the DJI drone. This is a super, super de duper great drone. I'm just learning how to fly it, how to be really productive and creative with it. Um, so at all times, if I can use this and carry it and just take it out whenever I'm going to do that. So this is a FPV drone. If you check out my channel, you'll see I have a video where I talk about it and its pros and cons and comparing it to my other drone that you'll see on the table. And then you can make the choice as to which one you should go for. Along with the Avata 2, you have the goggles and these are the DJI goggles 3. Okay. And there's a specific name for it. I'll put it on the screen so you know exactly what what the devices are called um, but these come along with the Avata 2 and these are super and when you put them on you look cool as hell I'm telling you okay it was cool as heaven um, so moving on from that we have the controller now this is the joystick that goes with it which makes it much easier when you're trying to learn to fly um, and get certain shots but you know you're kind of limited there's still certain things that you can do on there but you can't get you know those those real dramatic shots but it's there anyway okay and then you can progress to the remote controller 3 so the RC3 okay and this is uh, a new controller that's come out from DJI and it enables you to fly in manual or acro as it's sometimes called um, so yeah that's there as well okay and as part of that kit we have this pack here which is the three battery pack okay so you can charge all your batteries uh, when you're on the go you got the USB here you can you know check the power levels or your batteries and then the coolest thing about this battery pack is that if two of these are on like 20% and then that one's on 20% if you plug them all in together you can change the settings so you can get the 20% that comes out of this one and this one to go into that one so then you have 60% and you can go for another flight and moving on to the other drone and you might be wondering why does it have two drones well if you check out the video um, where i'm comparing the two you'll understand why i have two or why you might want one or the other this is the mini 4 pro okay so this is a more cinematic drone much smaller than the avata 2 so you can carry this easily and tuck it away and what comes with that is a another controller and this is the rc2 okay this is one the latest one um, so you got your antennas and everything like that. Okay. So that goes with that. Okay. And then just like the Avata 2, you have the DJI Mini 4 Pro battery 
charging station. Okay, so you can put three batteries in here. There's one in there at the moment. Okay, so you can carry it and just charges again with a USB-C. And one of the great things about this is if you, all these are charged up, you could use the output from this to charge your phone or another device. So that's kind of cool. So in addition, when it comes to using any of these drones, um, if you're into photography or filmography, you'll understand this a little bit more, but you should be using ND filters. So we have a pack of these ND filters here, and these are for the Avata 2. Okay, so it just reduces the light that comes into your camera. Um, when you have certain settings on, you need to use these. It's just like a pair of sunglasses, but for your camera. Okay, so you got that for that. Then this is the pack for the Mini 4 Pro. Okay, so we've got more in here than the other one. Okay, and you'll see another pack here, but this is for something else, and I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Now, over here, we've got these packing cubes, um, Ultra Mesh packing cubes from Peak Design. Okay, so Peak Design sent me these, and we'll get into the video in regards to packing a particular bag. Um, but these packing cubes are really cool. The mesh material, they can expand quite easily and they don't take up a lot of space. So you can have, you know, packing uh, cases that take up space, but at least with this, when you're not using it, you can roll it up and you can use this as a bungee to keep everything together. But at the same time, if you're not using all the space, you can easily fold it up, okay? So it keeps all your things in one place. So I think these are quite cool and they come in a variety of different sizes. So this is a small, this is an extra, extra small. Now, if you're into photography or filmography or anything and you want to record some stuff, you know, when you're out and about, you really want to have some type of tripod because you want to be able to, you know, manage your shots. You don't want to be always a person behind the camera. Sometimes you want to be in front of the camera. So we have three different tripods right here. So we have this little mini one. Okay. And you can get these on Amazon really cheaply. And just to let you know, all the devices here will be in the description and in my link which you should see in the qr code right down here so if you have any interest in buying any of these products please click on those and the more clicks from the affiliate links i get and the stuff that you buy will help me out so i can buy more stuff to then review for you guys that is a mini tripod there then we go up to this one and this is the peggy or pgy tech um, I think this is such a great universal type of device. With this, it's a camera grip, so you can put your small camera or whatever camera. Okay, so you have the attachment here. And great thing about this attachment is you can quick release it. Okay, so you can have a quick release on this and you can slap it back in and lock it after so it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, and then what happens is you could use it as a table stand tripod okay so just like that you can you can put it down you can also use this as more stabilization when you're filming just like this i think that's great too you also have this type of giraffe type of neck okay so you can raise it off the table or to change the height and things like that okay you can also use this little clip at the back so if you have a door or something to, to latch onto so it would hang there and these feet would rest against the other surface so you could have it attached higher or lower wherever you want whatever you're doing so i think that is cool too and then also if you're filming you're filming yourself for example you know you have the opportunity and the ability to record more from a distance okay as you can see right there so this is a cool piece of tech. Um, anybody that's into filmography or if you know anybody into filmography um, or do YouTube or anything like that, this is the perfect Christmas gift, birthday gift, anytime gift, because um, it doesn't cost too much and people would appreciate having one. So moving on from there, we have this Ulanzi. Okay, this is another piece of tech that you might wanna purchase for somebody. Um, as a gift and this is a, another tripod now what happens with this is you release the legs and it pops out like so okay so you got a tripod there and then you can extend out the neck okay so this goes as far as like six feet 
Okay, so it's six feet up. And if you don't want to use it as a tripod, you can use it as a grip as well. And it has a tilting neck. Okay, so your neck can tilt with your camera on it so you can get the right angle. Um, so this is another great little tool, little device. Um, if you know of anybody that's, as I said, into filmography or anything like that, you know, you can purchase one of these and I'm guaranteed they'll love it. If they don't have something like this already, they're going to love it. Okay. So this makes a combination. So as we're talking about cameras, let's focus on the cameras that I like to carry when I'm out and about. Now, this is probably one of the greatest products that I've ever bought. Okay. This is the DJI. Right, that's green. This is a DJI Pocket 3. And if you've watched the reviews and the videos, um, there's so many reviews and videos about this device because it probably is one of the greatest cameras that have ever been created, certainly for me. Um, I'm assuming at some point they're gonna bring a Pocket 4. Hopefully it's not too soon because I'm gonna wanna buy it. So DJI, just hold on for another year at least. Let me get my money's worth out of this before you bring us another one. And as you'll see, I have two right here because sometimes you need to do different perspectives, especially, especially when you're filming by yourself. But usually I use these in studio to give me the top views and the side views and things like that. So these are really cool. Okay, as part of that package, and you can get this as a combo kit. So in a combo kit, you'll get the Pocket 3, you'll get the Mic 2, you'll get the battery grip and then you'll also get a stand okay so you can screw it on put it on top and just stand it on the table in addition to that you also get this pouch and i love the way dj always give you a pouch or something to to carry your devices in um and you know it's very good high quality it's not some cheap knockoff type of stuff um, so you can put all your bits and pieces in here and then carry it with you. Um, sometimes I use it a lot of times because I'm using multiple stuff and the type of bag I'm using, I might just store it in other pockets, but it's good to know that you have this because it keeps everything nice and neat and together. You don't lose anything. In addition to the pocket three, as I said, you get the battery grip right here, which is really good, really useful, has the pin. So you can put it on any tripods or anything like that um it gives you extra battery so you have battery in there and you have battery in here then you get the dji mic 2 okay so it's got a, a dead cat as they call it right here on top and these are quite nice and unique and look really great you can also get these in white i love black so i want to get them in black and then at the back you get a magnet so you can put it between your clothes uh, or you can clip it on so you'll see some youtubers will you know clip it on their hat for example on the side or somewhere like that um so it's really useful to have that and as you can see i have two good thing about this if you have two or even if you just have two of these you can connect two of the mic two cameras into one of the pocket threes and also as part of the pocket threes you want to use some nd filters so we have some nd filters right here Okay, there's one at the minute that's just attached to its case that it, it also comes with another case. I should have mentioned that. I'll probably put a little snippet to that on the, in the video. And, you know, this helps you with getting that right shutter speed and to produce the right type of quality of videos that you're trying to create. And it's just that when you're out and about and you're filming and you're getting too much light, you use the filters when you don't have enough light might want to use one of these this is a portable video light okay it's from small rig i have two of these uh one of them i'm using right now so if i ever need to i can take two so i can get different positions of lighting and these are really cool get really bright um as you can see right now light me up i can turn it let's see i can turn it all the way up and i can turn it all the way down Okay. and it has different types of settings on it so you can do different types of things different colors uh, where are you yep so you can change your colors right there and you can do all kinds of things on it but 
won't go into too much depth with this at this point in time. Powering all your devices when you're out and about, you're gonna want something that has enough juice to power stuff while you're using them or after you've used them or in between because you run out of something. So here we have the U Green Power Bank. This is a great, nice little, little power bank. Actually, I say little, it's quite heavy. Um, and that's because it is 25,000 milliamp hours, which will charge a MacBook up to, I think it's like 75% off this, but then you could charge so many other things as well. And it charges up to 200 watts, uh, which means you can get fast charging from this device. Now, great thing I love about this is it has a screen. You probably can't see too much of it right now on camera um, because it does reduce the light. Um, and when you plug it in, you'll see your levels and how much battery is left and all that kind of stuff. So this is really nice. I would also always suggest if you're a geek um, that you have a power supply or a power bank, as I should say, and this will go as good as a gift too. So um, look out for this one in the description. Okay, so these are kind of work slash lay type of stuff. And moving over here, we have more of the tools that I'll use uh, more for play and uh, rest, I guess. Um, so first of all, we have this Lark bottle. As you can see, it's had a little bit of damage, it's had a bit of use. But one of the things I love about this is you can put, you know, your standard water inside here for a tap or, you know, any type of source. And then you have the ability to press this button when it's charged. It will use blue light to filter out and get rid of the impurities in the water. Um, so this is really good device to have and carry around with you. As we're still talking about cameras, I have another camera right here. Now this is just, just an example of something that I would carry. This is an old camera. Um, the camera that I would carry, um, a DSLR that I would carry is the a7 III, which I'm recording on right now. Um, there is plans to upgrade that at some point, but um, I'm just trying to justify that <laughs> so I can get into that market. But just to show you, these are the devices that I'm going to be putting in a bag and it will be a DSLR. Okay, so we have all these devices. We have all this tech that has to store data, which moves me over to here. So we have this two terabyte Seagate hard drive. Um, this is a hard drive like you would get in a laptop, for example. It's not a solid state. Um, I can't remember the name. It's a mechanical drive anyway. So this is two terabytes and this is used for backup. So whenever I'm out and about, I need to dump something on here or some completed work. I can put it on here and be safe knowing that at least I have a backup of all my media. Now this is a SSD or some of the solid state uh, Kingston drive, two terabyte. And this is what I use if I'm doing any editing or any dropping of files that I need to be working on. I will use this and connect it to the MacBook, which you'll see under there. And I can do all my editing and then just dump the main finished file onto the MacBook and store it and then back it up here. This is just allows me to, you know, have a lot of space that I can just mess around with and don't have to, you know, be too focused in terms of how I'm managing my files. And then we have this adapter here for the MacBook. Uh, you can use it on any other um, tablet or PC or anything like that. Okay, so this just enables you to plug in some um, USB A into this uh, you also got the micro sd and sd card slots here and also this point here which you can add your charger in so if you're using one point on port that's using your charging you can charge through this and it will charge into your device so then you're not losing a usb port so in addition to that we have you know a couple of chargers i probably have more than this that i would carry with me um it's always good to have these all the cables and everything that I use for these devices. I usually just put them all in this, in one of these bags. Okay, so I'll keep them all together. This one is filled with the drone stuff, but I have other ones that are filled with cables and anything that I may need. Uh, so in addition to power and things I was talking about here, we have the standard um, MacBook charger here. Okay, so you never want to leave home without this, even though I'll tell you some stuff about the MacBook in just a moment, but uh, yeah always got to keep that now when it comes to entertainment side of things over here uh first of all i have these shucks um open run twos okay uh, i'll be doing a review on these these are very nice okay they're probably not going to give you the the you know the in-depth rounded base but you get 
you know, some good quality audio out of these and it enables you to hear everything around you. Um, so if you do stuff like walking your dog or playing with the kids or, you know, doing something where people need you to be able to hear what's going on, these are a great set of head headphones, if you can call them headphones, but also you're less likely to lose these because you can actually, you know, put them around your neck when you're not using them. Here is my Velcut wallet. Okay, I'm not gonna go into it and show you what's in here, but for years I used to have a standard wallet uh, made out of leather, but this is, you know, a combination of leather and also some hardened plastic, or is it metal? It's probably metal. And what you can do here is just pop out your card like that. So if you need any, use any cards at any time, you can just pop them out. Okay, very easy to use, but then you have additional slots for other cards that you don't use that often. And you can put money inside here and other business cards or whatnot you can pop in that side as well. So I'm still moving on the tech run and talking about cameras. Uh, I guess we better talk about these. Now these are the Ray-Ban Meta glasses. Um, currently, I need a bit of a clean, so let's clean these up really quickly. So you would have seen me wear these in my videos a lot of the times. And you know, you've got the cameras in here where you got camera in one side and a light in the other just to let people know that you're recording. Um, it's got the microphones in there so you can talk to people. You can have your, you know, your calls and things like that and speak to people and you can hear them through the speakers at the sides. And these got AI built in, well connected to the app on your phone. Uh, one of the greatest things I like about this is because you have the speakers here and you can listen to your audio when you're walking around. So you can still listen to your podcasts and things like that. And you can have phone conversations and they work really great. The AI integration is another great piece as well. Um, you can ask questions and then the AI will actually speak to you and let you know. Um, and you can get it to take pictures. So whatever you can see, it will take a picture of and give you some descriptions, some information, some, some support. Um, so yeah, these are really great glasses. And then you can just press that button here and you can take snapshots and pictures or videos. So these are really cool to have when you're out and about and you know, you want to make sure you're capturing every moment and they go in a nice case, which actually charges the glasses. So these are really nice. Okay. When it comes to entertainment, when I'm out and about, so I don't really use these that often. Um, but you know, when you're traveling and you're a bit bored, okay. It's always good to be able to, you know, jump into some gaming. I don't get to spend a lot of time at home gaming. So when I'm out and about or traveling and I'm not driving or if I'm on a plane or someone else is driving or something like that, I can just get this games console out. And this is the Steam Deck HD. Okay. Um, so this is great. You can hold so many games on it. You can add additional storage. This is currently in a nice case. It's usually all black, but you can put some stickers on it and some rubber protection on it. And then you've got this kickstand on the back and you can do so many different things with it. And you can use it like a, a, a PC, to be honest, like a, a Linux machine. If you know anything about Linux, you can still do your Linux processes and things like that with this device. So that's predominantly for gaming. And then also we have the Quest 3. Okay, so I've had this probably a year and a half I haven't used it as much as I've wanted to use it. I think now that Meta are bringing out a new update, uh, which can enable you to be traveling and use these, uh, because previously, if you've been sitting in a car because of the motion, your screen will go off one side or the other, but they're bringing it out so you can actually use these while you're traveling in a moving vehicle. And I look forward to using these uh, when I can use that functionality, especially when I'm on the plane, even though I might look like a bit of a, a geek with them on. Um, you do have the ability to double tap so you can see the world around you. So you're never going to be, you know, trapped in the world and not know what's going on because you need to double tap and then speak to people, look around and then go back into your own environment. Or you can have mixed reality. Um, so that's something that if you're interested, look into it. And again, I would say this is another great device. Um, as a gift. In addition to the headset, you get these these controllers, okay, and these are currently wrapped in a nice silicone, gives you more grip and also protection. Uh, I'll put links to these in the description as well, and these go with the Quest 3. Second to last thing now is this, which is the Samsung Tab S9 FE that I have. Okay, so as you probably know, I'm very much a Samsung 
person. Okay, so we've got this here, just falls out, and you've got the pen, the stylus that comes with it. Okay, and then you've got the case, so it keeps it nice and clean, but also you can use it to, to prop up, you know, prop up your device. Okay, so when you're traveling, you can just be watching it and then easily fold it away. Or I use it a lot for school, so I really appreciate the way that this works. Last but not least is the MacBook Pro. Now this is the M3 version, M4 just came out the other day. Um, I wasn't gonna be waiting um, a couple of months to wait for the M4 and then pay extra money because a lot of people that have been talking about that M1 still say it's a great machine. Now this is the third generation in, so you can get these probably at a good discount right now, uh, running up to Christmas as well or in the new year. This is all the tech that I use almost on a day-to-day -day basis, but specifically when I'm traveling, this is what I would always love to travel with. I can't say that I have in the past traveled with all these things, but check out the video, as I said, up here, I am gonna show you which bag can fit all these devices into. And if you're listening to this already, you're probably watching the video and this is a segment inside. Thanks for checking out the video. And as I said, if you like any of the devices, all the links are in the description and make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell because I will be bringing you more videos on tech and all these gadgets soon. So uh, for now, thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate you. Peace.